Good morning guys. It's a cloudy, cool morning. It may rain today or not. I don't know. Uh, weather changes all the time, right? Anyway, I would like to welcome my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you so much. Let's get down to business here in just a minute. Once again, I stuck to OMAD. I didn't allow myself to eat last night. And believe me, my body was yelling at me to feed it. And I told it no. Instead, Miss Catherine had been running all day long yesterday. I do not know what she was running or anything. She had been clingy and just whiny. And so I figured that what would work was for me to sit down have a couple hours of family time watching a movie and what I meant by that was no phones and that me and hubby sit on the couch and Miss Catherine lay on my lap and that's what we've done and it took care of it one I didn't think about food no more and two it made her happy and she stopped her whining for the rest of the day. So, as I'd said before, there are things that we can do to occupy our minds so that we don't think about food no more. And last night was a great example because, I mean, I wouldn't have gave in anyway. I wouldn't have gave in anyway, but my body was really yelling hard at me, but I, I, I didn't give in. And I wouldn't have. But watching the movie helped tremendously. Tremendously. So anyway, coming in this morning, I came in at 181.2. Now that's two ounces up, but that's okay. That's just two ounces up. And I know I've said before that even losing an ounce raised something. And gaining two ounces raised something. But there are different circumstances that can determine that two ounces. I mean, after all, in the last three days, I had lost over two pounds, closer um, to almost to uh, like three. Um, no, I, I lost two, two pounds and nine ounces in three days. So, you know, as much as I would like to lose again every day, just lose pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds. I know that there's going to be some days that that has a small spike. And the fact is, you know, I didn't overdo it yesterday on my one meal. I didn't overeat and I didn't eat again. So whatever the reason is for me having that small two ounces up, Hopefully there's nothing backfiring there and it's just what it is for the day. And I do look forward to seeing what my body's going to show me tomorrow. I mean, where my mentality has changed so much during this weight loss journey so that um, it doesn't affect me so much. I mean, on occasion it'll flare up and it'll get to the point that I go, oh, i got to stop this now, you know. But in the past, before I'd really had a mentality change about weight loss 
and discovered more about my body and how it works during this process when I would see that the scale was up I would ball till there's no tomorrow serious I would let it put me so down into the dumps and it's even been recently that it done that just a few months ago I mean it had gotten me down so bad that you would have thought I lost my best friend and so you know but I have to say a big thank you to a lot of my subscribers because they have told me that the body will go up and down and you know I thought maybe it was just mostly like fluid retention that would do that uh, but there are other factors um, when I ended up passing those kidney stones, it was like I would never stop passing them, you know. And that caused a humongous gain in the weight because I wasn't able to urinate freely. And um, then like with my age and of course still having my monthly cycles and stuff. So there are different things there and I have learned to live with that. But in the back of my mind, and it's something that is good to hold on to, in the back of my mind, I'm still going through this rigmarole of what can I do to get over that small hurdle. Because if I would just let it be at that, it, you know, just, okay, I gained. All right. You know, if I would just let it be at that and not strategize, for the near future like the next day or that day or whatever I would end up gaining it all right back because I would just and I've been there okay I'm saying that out of true experience I have done that thinking that okay yeah I'm up a little bit and before I knew it it came on me it was just there just there and so you know I've constantly got to be running through my mind the changes that I need to make and keep a watch on the scale because the scale really does let me know of whether or not I may or may not be doing something right and to go by the scales alone no and I'm going to tell you even though I am two ounces up now yesterday I measured myself and I just measured my waist okay now on day 240 I measured at 34 and 3 eighths okay and yesterday I measured in at 34 even so as of a 240 day 240 up until yesterday I had lost three eighths of an inch off of my waist okay this morning uh, after I weighed myself I thought okay let's see where my waist is and see if that's a reflection of me gaining weight or not so I measured my waist again this morning and there's another fraction it didn't it didn't reach seven eighths but it was still below 34 it was between I guess that would be a sixteenth I guess it'd be a sixteenth but I don't know because you know my my measuring tape only shows seven eighths that's the that's the smallest mark there is on my tape on my measuring tape so um more than likely whatever the smallest or the biggest number in a sixteenth is anyway I was under 34 this morning so you know yeah um, and that's great uh, as long as the measurements are showing that you are getting smaller despite of what you see on the scales that's when you can take heart 
Let the scales kind of help you to keep strategizing, but let the tape measure show you that you're in the right direction, right? So, anyway guys, you'll be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog, and I love every single one of you so very much. Have a great day.